The Aner Yar played a part according to Skull and Hathi Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides those <laughs> being the elves, who else has got players on it? Not my army, really. The <laughs> old beer girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. Hmm. Fitting. <laughs> there she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. <laughs> Bring it down. We strike. Yep. Look out! 
Puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Come on! A double ambush? There, 
Still up there. Another ambush? Really? Third time's the charm. They are not smart. I am the third. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes, I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our thief's gone skyward. <laughs> almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Hey, New York! On the left! <laughs> <laughs> Careful, brother. You're covered in black blood. <laughs> 
But what if, by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement? The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. He goes nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Feels like they want us to use it at one of the... altars? Huh. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildas Pini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. <laughs> wow. This place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. Look out! Yep, still very, very egros. Liking it less now. Hold him! 
That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuryar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. like the egros. We can get across from up here. So, we report back to Hilda Sfini, then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern. Not ours. Sure. But if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. Who want to kill us? No, no. Only the canapsious ones. That wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blowfinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Ooh. 
Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Vela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, count it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. <laughs> the story of who made these things. About time I had something to do. Family crests? I'll take them. Somebody ought to save these, even if the Van Air won't. Goddess. Let's make something then. 